yes, your note from Ignis. Let me see if I still have it. Here it is. Mr. Fitzhume, please inform our wizard friend that I'd like to speak with them about crafting. And order more red chalk. Well, there you go. And don't worry, I love taking time away from being the only intergalactic librarian alive to be the secretary here, too. <sighs> Just go talk to Ignis. I'm sure he's fussing about in his office. Oh, and tell him to order his own stupid chalk. Unless you're going to help me reshelve all 300 volumes of the Transmutative Properties Treatise, then you'd better go find Ignis. Hello. I see Fitzhume relayed me note. I really must remember to thank him. He's the fuel to the Arcanum's fire, you know. Speaking of fires, I called you because I thought you'd be interested in learning about a crafting forge unlike any you've ever seen. While perusing your initiate's dossier, I noticed that you're a Promethean crafter. We don't get many of those around here. As a lifelong crafting enthusiast myself, I reckon I should introduce you to a crafting table like none other, the Forge of Legends. An intergalactic class crafter like you could make some incredible things with it, legendary things even. I could go on for volumes about the Forge. In fact, I did. So rather than listen to me blather on, you can read my work on your own time. Start with the first chapter of me book, An Introduction to Forge of Legends over in the repository. Then come back and we can discuss it. An introduction to the Forge of Legends, your guide to the Arcanum Super Mundane Smelter by Ignis Farrick. While it's unknown who built the Forge of Legends, its construction shows techniques from multiple worlds, even different dimensions. It's believed this uncommon design is what imbues the Forge with the unique ability to produce items of legendary quality. That unrivaled composition also creates an operational paradox in that it can only be operated by a legendary crafter. However, the only known way a crafter can attain legendary crafting level is to use the Forge of Legends. Due to this conundrum, the Forge of Legends sat dormant for centuries. Then, after many years of frustrating study, I had a revelation. Crafters where I come from have a saying, no matter the problem, one must always forge ahead. Therefore, to attain the skill required to use the Forge of Legends, one simply needs to use the Forge of Legends. That said, to craft anything of substance, a legendary crafting recipe is also required. So I hammered out a few of those too.
back so soon? Did you do your homework on the Forge of Legends? Smashing! Then you're ready to forge ahead and become a legendary crafter. Here, this teleportation tapestry recipe will serve as a good start with the Forge of Legends. Then it'll help you return. Once you've mastered that, I'll have more legendary crafting recipes I can sell you. Well, go on then. Get to the smelting room and get crafting. has been babbling on about the Forge of Legends or something in my library. Come here and quiet him down. If it isn't the most promising young pyromancer in all the spiral, how are you, my friend? I hope the pressure here's not getting to you. Accomplished as my colleagues may be, they forget that we're not just here to pursue our individual interests. We're here for a common cause. And seeing as how you just joined us, I was thinking I might share some of my favorite spells. Matter of fact, I got a real sizzler in mind. But I can't share it with you until you've been approved by the Arbiter Proxus, Sirio Cassini. Go see him and get tested. I'll be here. Listen, Initiate. You know I be wanting to share me spells with you, but the Arbiter Proctus has to approve you first. Go see him. The young wizard, Fitzhugh told me the Arcanum had a new initiate. He said you were unworthy, but he can sometimes be unfair. Yeah, judging by your attire, I can tell you have a good fashion sense. And I suspect you have a great magical aptitude as well. We will see soon enough. I am an Arcanum Sentinel sworn to protect the Spiral, but I also serve as Arbiter Proctis, testing initiates. Come in, and I will test you. You look out and wonder, where are we? Where is the library? But your thinking is too traditional. 
as an initiate. You must let that go. Like the Arcanum itself, this chamber exists in a place of its own, between, beneath, behind, and beyond the rings of the spiral. Likewise, your success as an initiate depends upon your ability to transcend your knowledge, your skills, and your philosophy. I warn you now, I am here to test the very limits of your magical prowess. I will not pull any punches. Fitzhugh's assessment was completely wrong. I have no doubts as to your worth and your courage. I will inform the scholars of your success. 
They will entrust you with greater responsibilities. Arrivederci. Until we meet again. Finally, Ignis has run off to his office, ranting about legendary this or that's. Go talk to him. By the flames of Zalivar, you did it, didn't you? I never had any doubts, of course, but I know Sirio turns up the heat on you recruits. I promise you this, though. By joining the Arcanum, you've struck the mother load of magic. Your talents will burn like never before. This little spell here is just the first spark. I'll be forging new spells all the time. And when you're ready, I'll share them with you. Don't forget, if you find yourself needing a friend, I'm here for you. When we pyromancers work together, our flames burn all the brighter. 